shout outs to Delta for not only taking uh, Blitz back, but that play versus yesterday. Shout outs to China for placing second. Uh, you all were amazing today. Thank you all for joining. Really good games from everyone. Uh, <laughs> really happy to see y'all out here uh, fucking with this, you know, mod and everything. Having fun. Playing with this delay netcode. Saying it doesn't matter. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start the tournament for anyone watching. Uh, we are at a quick break. I wish this thing would refresh better. I mean, it says they're all checked in. Am I doing this wrong? And uh, let's see here, while we're doing that, let's go ahead and run a trailer. And let me, f let me finish that tournament too. Oops. Well, I guess I didn't close it. Whew. Delta taking it 3-0 over China. Big win. All right, let me get this here. And, uh... Go ahead and run this sick ass uh, Leo White Fang trailer, right? Alright, you all enjoy this. I'll be right back.
Yo, what's up, all of you? I'm back. Oh, perfect timing. I just got back, too. I ran a quick trailer for him. Hell yeah. All right. Whew, that was fun. And now we get a round robin. Which uh, I'm not sure if, well, you're not, not uh, anyone out there listening. What a round robin is, is... Okay, I just did 20 jumping jacks. Give me a second. <laughs> uh, hello? Hello. Okay, yeah, just making sure. Uh, what a round robin is, is everyone fights everyone else in a set. And then your score is a composite of however many wins you get during those sets. And whoever has the many most wins at the end of it uh, wins the round robin. They're pretty fun. You get a bunch of, you know, we're going to get a bunch of three out of fives since we have four people. Round robins are always a blast. What's up, Delta? Ah, and there, there is milk right there. Did you win that by? F yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, you, it's almost as legendary as the sign of Sonic <coughs> Fox won a first to ten by uh, uh, thirteen to zero. Goddamn! Oh yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> that? No, yeah, I heard about that on the ride back from uh, San Francisco <laughs> to Sacramento one night. Yeah. <sighs> Man, challenge is just being a challenge today. It it, it always is, honestly. <laughs> is it just so I can make that joke that they do that? It, you know, it might be. All right, yeah, my music is gone. I can turn that back on now. I was so birthday train just kept going <laughs> China would not give up player one yo red blades a shark I've heard some bad stories about him just like how he operates at a tournament so I'll try to like prey on new players and get him to money match him and shit you hung out with him once well, if you're going to tell me wrong, let me know. You know, don't let me talk shit about your boy. But, <laughs> or girl, whatever <laughs> pronoun. <laughs> One day I'll default to them. You can see that being the case. Yeah. I remember that team battle. Red Blade Red put the entirety of his corner on his back. You <laughs> carry this team. Okay, let me check. Did it go through? Okay, so... I don't know how familiar you are with Uni. Okay, so... Uh, ish. Okay, so, so are you familiar kind of with how Wagner works? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so... Basically, why am I not following you? I thought I followed you like five months ago. Oh, I don't know. If hell? I'm not following you, well, I can follow you because you don't tweet strive shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant, I meant on Twitch. Oh. <laughs> I don't tweet strive shit because I'm too busy stealing everybody else's strive tag. Yeah. <laughs> but they didn't get to play. I mean, that's the, you know... That's the risk the you run in a team Red tournament. On your team. Well, I mean, look, you, they all mad they didn't get to play. But then, you know, if that if he's down at the last minute and he gets to beat people by, you know, he has to beat 13 people, then everyone's happy, right? Like, oh, he carried the team then, but... Like, yeah, if he does it at the front, everybody's like... Yeah. Yo, in a team battle, you should be happy if someone takes out half their team at the start, because it's like... Look, if I don't have to play, <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> You tell that to the carpool members. The carpool members, right. yeah. I understand that though, right? Like, oh, just did, shouldn't have joined the team tournament. <laughs> no, it was during the show match. Uh, 
I took I, out five. I took out five of Team Seven's lives, and we're all in a Discord call, so they're bitching at me the entire time. <laughs> because you're doing too well. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> and you're like, I came here to win, not to let you, know you play. Would be a really, <laughs> you know what would be a really fun tournament for Gear is a Waseda tournament. What's that? So the way a Waseda tournament works is you you register with teams of two. Yeah. And player A from team one plays player A from team two, right? Yeah. And if one player from each team wins, right, then they have to play each other. So it's it's a team knockout. Like player A versus player A, then player B player versus, player, versus B. player B. Yeah, and both players on your team have to lose for okay. you to get knocked out. Yeah. Buddy, where are you? The S and P team tournaments already do that. Hell yeah, yeah. We say the tournaments are a blast. Oh, is that we? Is that what we run? Uh, S and P. Who's saying S and P? Delta. Oh, yeah. So the main the main difference though is that you don't play back to back, right? Yeah. So yeah. like, the the first you have to rotate off the cab after the first game, and then the only time you would play like back to back is like if you were playing the tiebreaker and you were the person that went second. I can't wait till I can play again. This trigger finger just refuses to like let up. I'm not playing, I'm not even doing shit. It's just like, ah. Uh... <laughs> you're, you're up. God, I, I keep forgetting where in NorCal you are. I'm in uh, SAC. Okay, so you're uh, nah, you're kind of far from me. Damn. <laughs> so I was gonna say I got a I got a homie who's going to San Jose State, um, and uh, he's the, is it, he's the uh, homie that's building my hitbox. Is it Wabbit? No, it's Avian. Uh, he's the he's the homie that's building my hitbox. He's he's actually from SoCal originally. He's like an oh, hour from where I live now. Does he does he uh, make hitboxes or? He does. He does. So he assembles like all of the custom parts and stuff, but he oh, orders okay. the parts from other manufacturers. Um, so... I kind of forgot why Wagner was a war crime. Which, yeah, and boss, I don't know if anyone uh, replied to that. She so, <laughs> yeah, it's literally she has infinite pressure. So the thing is, her uh, her 2-2-C, her double install, is plus 9 on block. Um, she has stagger 5-A, which you can't do shit about. Stagger 5-B, which you can't do shit about. And a 9-frame assault J-A that you can't do shit about. So, um, uh, and if she ends up with either of her installs in the force, the course of a combo, um, you can basically turn anything into minimum half of your opponent's life bar and damage and a full sc and a corner to corner carry. Sure. Are you, uh, f you, you know, on challenge when you try to check someone in yeah, 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 forcefully, have you had it come up where it's like something went wrong, refresh the page? Yeah, that just happens sometimes if Shalange is being kind of bitchy about it. Um, is it, like, won't let me do it at all today? Yeah, it may just be server load. Maybe, let me try on, like, a different browser. Yeah, yeah so Mombasa, it's, it's the combination of her 2-2-C leaving her absurdly plus, but also, like... She has universally the highest damage conversions out of every character. Like, so you can it... get higher damage conversions with Yuzu, Yuzu, but you can't get them off every starter. Wagner doesn't give a shit what starter you hit. She's doing 4k minimum. Is that still relevant? Uh, for Wagner? Yeah, because she Uni hits the game in, in two hits. In Uniclear? You, yeah, she's the exact same. Damn, and Chrome is doing the same thing to me. Yeah, you, you literally, you just end the game in two hits with Wagner. Uh, money, that is, where are that you? is the trade-off for your chubby normals. All right, I'm going to give them till 7.15 because I would like four players. And yeah. then we'll start the tournament. And uh, I'll run matches. Even then, I'll run matches that aren't him until... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If that yeah, would even work. Wagner is like... like imagine Elfelt didn't have Sniper. That's Wagner. That is, that is like... That's literally the best way to put it. Oh no no no! Red red popped no me that in a stream. Yeah. Like, 
So you can like, do more damage. Thing, God damn. Well, the other thing with Veil Off too is you can eat your opponent's meter with it. So it's like it's it's literally like he turned Wagner into Hime from Melty Blood, and I. It was disgusting. Like there, there is a reason that Red Blade thinks Wagner is like top two. Didn't he argue that she wasn't even good for a while? Uh, in Uni Clear or not Uni Clear, Uni ST. Uh, patch one Uni Clear was really rough, and then patch like one point three hit, and he was like, "Oh, this character, this character's broken." <laughs> I'm about to like call Muddy in a voice chat. <laughs> call, where are you at? <laughs> ring, ring. Because it's like, I know he wants to play. He signed up first. <laughs> call, bro. I'm standing at the door calling your name. Muddy, <laughs> calling for the cats, man. <laughs> I used to have to do that uh, when I was a kid. <laughs> They'd come. Melty, Mbasa, if you ever want to like get into Melty, I recommend playing the Community Edition of Actress Again Current Code. Um, it'll be different for sure. It's it the easiest way to just advertise melty to somebody is like imagine beauty but everybody's a war crime <laughs> melty is war crime the game there are too many dudes to pick up yeah there's a really nice guide on like if you know what you like to play in fighting games that kind of goes over the characters and how they all like function um in a very like brief instance of like this is just this character's general play style and what moons you should pick because these are the good ones you like playing Kai and Holy Order Soul. <laughs> you know what? That's pretty dang fair. Um, I would actually probably say C Roa, Crescent Moon Roa. Because uh, Crescent Moon Roa, you get, um, you get like Lightning Oki. So like you basically get like grinders, but you can stack like four of them on top of your opponent in the corner and just make them block forever. Um... Okay, yeah, so I would recommend I would recommend C Roa. Actually Red Delta, yes there is. Um So Neko Neko Arc, um which is like the the two versions of the cat characters, which you shouldn't play because they're like actually a joke character that's like dog shit, but like what you could actually play is Mecha Hisui and Neko Arc Tag Team. Because Mecha Hisui is a functional character, and while Neko Arc isn't a functional character as a point character, uh, when you play the tag team, you basically get the point characters normals and the tag character specials. And so you get all of these really weird setups where, like, you use Mecha Hisui to throw Neko Arc at people and use Neko Arc for Oki. I see. She has a lot of sauce, but she's not like she's not the best. I but she has a ton of sauce. I think it's because this lock is enabled on participants, maybe. Mm, it may be. How do I get rid of that? Uh. Settings are locked. Oh, you would have to unstart the tournament. Ah. Uh, so even check-ins. Cause I'm just in yeah, because once, once the tournament starts, the check-in period is over. Yeah, I don't think I've... It's, I haven't processed check-ins yet, though. <laughs> so, shouldn't I still be able to edit it? Uh, no, because the check-in window closes automatically once bracket starts. So, like, you said check-in window before. Yeah. And then even if, if I don't If hit... you haven't hit start tournament yet, yeah. then you should be able to still. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I haven't hit start tournament yet, so... But uh, then I don't know. It's, it's just I'd have to okay. see the challenge page to mess around with it. All right. Well, let me set up the settings correctly here, and we'll yeah. get going. So Umbasa, I would recommend Roa for like more Kai oriented stuff, and for like Holy Order Soul, um, I would actually recommend. Um, goodness gracious, 
uh, Crescent Moon or Full Moon Arcuid. Um, just base Arc, just base Arcuid. Um, she's just big normals, obscene fundies, and good generally does everything the character. All right, with uh, three people, we get a far less long turn it's like half as long actually that's funny <laughs> from the the jump from three to four is literally half as many matches uh so first round we're gonna have aether beat versus scissor go ahead and nice oh if you like big slam attacks um this is the third and last recommendation i'll give for you try crescent moon yamiduka satsuki she is the grappler character, but not a grappler like Potemkin. She's a grappler like Shermie, where your command grabs make your combos. And her general combo is literally doing, like, her EX command grab to pull people into her combo and then dunk looping them to bounce them off the floor. Uh, I'll, put him, I'll put him in chat. Scissor so version 1.22474487139. One into <laughs> into ellipses. Top three already? I'm about to take that photo and post it on Twitter of you guys. <laughs> So earlier, <laughs> I think you'll enjoy this. Like I saw a spot his name, and I went to his house for his birthday. But I was, I was in the ETF Discord, and I saw a spot, and he hasn't been in the Rev Zero Discord or messed around with it. I'm like, you know what? I right click on his name, and I'm like invite to server, <laughs> just randomly nowhere. Just get in here. <laughs> yeah, you're good to go. You're good to go. Let's get this going. Yeah, this is gonna um... be fun. Brief no. easy moon breakdown. C characters play like uni. H characters play kind of weird. F characters can't reverse a beat, but they have like absurdly good normal. So like you're basically just playing like hyper neutral and street fighter. Um, but it's mad worth it because like everything you do is plus. Yes, I am going to spectate. Thank you. Like I wouldn't <laughs> do that or something. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm two and twenty minutes into commentary. <laughs> I'm not a pro. <laughs> Yo, I do love watching these two fight though. Especially Biken versus Slayer. I don't yeah, even think I've seen this is a really interesting matchup. Whew, I don't even think I've seen this matchup in Rev Zero yet. Right. This this should be a really interesting matchup because both of these characters really like to scramble. One thing uh, you're going to notice a lot, maybe, is that 2H obviously is a low for uh, Slayer, and obviously it's so good in Rev Zero. But Biken, like, when you're thinking about doing a zombie, you're not necessarily thinking, I gotta do the low zombie at this certain range, right? <laughs> yep. But this uh, Tatami map pressure building up the meter. That's one of the reasons why uh, Biken's Elfelt matchup in Rev 2 is uh, not enjoyable, because you have a standing low, or you could just walk up and grab them. Woo! Woo-hoo! Starting it off Yo, with the get dunked. dunk loops. Yo, you been playing? I either been in the lab. All right. Oh, wow, and what a great DP follow-up. Biken, she got spice. I, I kind of, like, I feel bad, like, for... See, when I got to Biken, she was true. She was the last, first off. Yeah. So she benefited from all my knowledge. And she also benefited from, like, I just let go. I let go of my hatred for Biken. And I, like, I got to play Biken in some casuals versus Scuba Gator. And I said, I'm sorry for about I do what I'm about to do. I just need to know what she's like, right? I need to feel what it's like to be a Biken player. And that's where I came from, making, making all my changes. <laughs> Yeah, I this didn't... matchup is really just like scrambling on the Yomi layer for sure. It's funny, it's like I didn't really give them the things they necessarily asked for, but then the things I gave them, they're all like, okay, this is kind of cool. <laughs> oh no, you got kicked. Oh no. How dare. And Sazur taking that round. I will be back. 
Just gotta click the, the join link again. Alright, nice 2p to check. He tries to go for the punish, but a little bit too late. Not your turn yet. Ooh, wow, the... So... I should tell Vic... Uh, or Sazer... <laughs> like, it, it ground bounces, so you can actually... Ha you have more wind... Uh, a bigger window to follow up after Big Bang Upper than you'd think. Ooh, goes for the cross bunker. Or whatever I named it. My internet may just not be having a good time right now. We'll I gotcha. <laughs> I'm gonna knock him down, won't kill, but... Ooh, a zombie. A little bit too far to convert. Who pile bunkers through. Ooh, and the 5p anti here. Vic takes it. Oh, I should actually... Yeah, I didn't even update this. Game 1 goes to Vic. Aether is actually the name of my cat. Oh, and then Red Delta. Um, there's literally a top-tier version of that character, which is just... Crescent Moon Maids, and it's just normal Hasui and normal Kohaku. And it's, just, it's literally the same game plan, but just broken as all hell. And in there already. Okay, goes for the uh, Tsubaki follow up in the air, but doesn't convert. A little bit too high to get the second hit of Pile Bunker, or uh, Cross Bunker. I'm going to look up what I called it. <laughs> that, was the, that was the fattest Cali Burst I've ever seen. <laughs> Noontide Eclipse. That's a cool name. I like this one. No, they're still fighting. Yeah, my internet's just being poopy. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, nope. Wait. Catching maybe. up? Aetherpy just evaporated from my screen. Oh, yeah, you're okay, decent then. Are you on round two? Yeah, I'm gonna pop out of the room and rejoin. Okay. Oh, def make sure to restart the uh, mod loader if your game crashed. No, I didn't, it didn't crash. It's just desynced. Okay. All right, Aether taking that round. Solid pressure. Just keeping Sazura locked down. To literally scare about wins. Yeah, Red Delta needs to know. Ooh, cut some with the health no, skill there. Definitely, definitely say if you if you play uh Zombie gets made out by the low. Mechasui and Arc, like you will one hundred percent just get wins from people having no idea what the hell your characters <laughs> actually do. Get them loops, burst out. Alright, life totals are fairly even in a sense. But not when you get piled bunkered. Alright, good spacing. A zombie? Ooh, gets the late follow up too. Ooh, two. Pretty good look for Aether there. Didn't get wall splatted, so only had to endure the knockdown. And Eternal Wings whiffs. Or no, that's straight down dandy. Sorry. Get that What's follow the ratio up? of characters having a DP to not having one in Melty? Um... Scramble? Ooh, I feel like a third of the cast look. probably has a serviceable DP, um, but mash options are really strong, and there's a lot of really good, like, specials that you can just use on Ooh. reversal anyways, if they're gapped well. Alright, Aether still has a chance here. And you see the adaptions, he's starting to run it back more and more. I will say this, though, every DP is unsafe. Like, if you don't hit your DP, you're fucked. Can't say that about this game right now. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I, I sh I'm glad that I'll, I'll have footage of DP being a mix-up. Yeah, it's yeah. Well, on, it's, it's on the same fifth. studio. Soft Circle French Red made Melty Blood. Yeah. You, Uni really is supposed neat. to be like the more like non Melty Blood player friendly version of Melty Blood. Like, Uni is just like, what if everybody was Crescent Moon and that was the design of the game? And they did it. <laughs> yeah, and they did it, yeah. Ooh, good counter. What's great about that counter hit is it's in counter hit recovery, so it's not even a counter hit, right? I love that shit. Like, <laughs> uh, it's a punish. Okay. 
Ooh, good air throw. Kai can do it for 25. Viking can do it for 50. It seems like my internet is uh, non-cooperative now, unfortunately. Uh, so I will... Bow out? Yeah, unfortunately, gotcha. I must leave you be and join the chat. We'll just have you in commentary talking to the chat. <laughs> about Melty. <laughs> right. Well, I just casually talk about the match. <laughs> Not, still, we're still, we're just still doing the same thing. No. Yeah, we're still just Yo, doing the Aether same bass thing. the burst, but gets punished somehow. <laughs> so you got to bait up. If you if you bait the burst, you got to follow up, right? And you got a hundred meter to deal with on Salzara's side, and a lot of life total to work with. If you, if you think he's not gonna wake up like Big Bang Upper or something with uh... <laughs> Salzara has enough meter to like do all of his taxes, pay off four stupid loans, and still have enough left over to mix. Yeah, you'd think so, unless they're using the American <laughs> stage, and then he's got none of that. Yeah, right, exactly. Dap let you in? Sure. <laughs> I mean, I've All considered... Right. Uh, okay, take it easy, Sheriff. Thank you so much. Yep. Really Peace. appreciate it. Peace. The Burger President Tex. Yeah. I got a burger in front of me right now. I didn't really want to eat, but I needed something too. And I've only had like one bite of it. I should take another, right? Need more energy. Yo, that 2H counter hit, popping him up super high. And that is a high on the dunk. Oh, that's unfortunate. The pile bunker hit right after the uh, buff wore out. Yo, loops. All right, has to RC to keep it safe. All right, it's all gone. All right, gonna see a force break. Nope. Not sure what he tried to bait it out, but there it is. Burst comes out successfully. Anyone's look right now. And I have not updated this. Aether staying alive. Hell yeah. Did I miss a game at all? Chat? Okay, cool. <laughs> My brain's starting to enter. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we get those counter hits. <laughs> Delta, I would. I think the, t the tournament already started. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'd be able to add someone. But, I mean, you should fight Milk and see what Jam's like. Uh, eat that damage. All right. Yo, what you gonna do versus two? All right, good good look, but a little bit too late. Oh, all right. Are you in, uh... Get in Discord. What I need is coffee another cup of it Ooh, nice 5p oh gonna take that bite buff we got gatlings now we got counter hits oh spent it on the super but didn't get the counter hit interesting all right side swap resets All right, let's see if this actually works. Okay, I can hear you. What's up, bro? All right, Souser closes it out 3-1 <laughs> over Aether. Next up, we have Highway Milkshake and Aether again. So I'm getting a little feedback on you. Alright, who are we running next? Uh, Aether and Milk. 
All right, so I'm just getting back in there. All right. All right, and I'm going to fill up my coffee cup real quick. <laughs> Shout for Rev Zero Jam. Ooh, Aether closing out that round. Yeah, you haven't seen the madness yet. I can't hear you for some reason. Oh, you can't hear me? Yeah, I don't know what to say about that one. You're gonna maybe try uh, look at your settings for what your input is. Okay, Milk taking this round so far. Alright, cards up. Got the overhead. Oki on deck. Go. Fuck. Did it uh, change what your input was? Or Yeah, it did, for yeah, no that, apparent reason. That happens to me all the time if you just like switch your shit. Alright, ooh, that's rough, because Aether spent that gold burst and wasn't able to get anything off of it. So I'm going to go into this next round with three-fourths of it back, so not too bad, but... Now, you discussed your design philosophy about uh, biking pretty thoroughly. What was your idea behind Jam, exactly? Um... So, initially, when I went in with Jam, I was kind of afraid that I wouldn't be able to do anything worthwhile or cool on my end, right? She's got a lot to work with. Like, what do you do? So, like, I had a lot of ideas for... <clears throat> what I wanted to do with her in the air initially and because of the limits I set for myself uh, with like giving people only like three force breaks technically uh, I wasn't I didn't wasn't gonna be able to do what I wanted to and so like the idea came to me that like you know uh, I had the force break card on the ground where it's like just kind of standard she gets a you know a full charge uh, and it was just like, what if I make it a cancel that, uh, I don't know, you could follow up out of, right? It made it a charge, just so, like, it made the combo keep going. So, in its own way, like, it was every move that I wanted to put in, in the air. So, it was kind of cheating from my part. And it opened her up so much that I was really happy with it. And I was like, okay, fuck it, you know, she's the character that gets to do this. <laughs> yeah, because when I actually played against her, uh... Like yesterday, it was like the only match I got in. Uh, it was very interesting. It seemed like the character had a very cohesive game plan. Yeah. Which was nice to see. And Jesus, that damage. Yeah, I mean, and it was definitely a thing of, right, like, uh, Jam in a way is really gated beyond how fast she can get her cards. And in Rev 2, that's not very fast, right? In this game, like, if she gets 25 meter, like, she's, and she cards up, like, you've got to worry about her pressure. You've got to really worry about her Oki. Like, it's like, you know, Milk will say, like, oh, it's dummy Oki. But, uh, like, that's fine. You know, it's it's okay to have good Oki. <laughs> I mean, without good Oki, like, yeah. a third of this cast wouldn't function. Plus, I thought, I thought it would be really cool to just kind of showcase the leveled up side of Jam, right? Like, you don't get to see the cool blue fire effects all the time, but now you do. Yeah, you rarely ever get to see that in a normal rev match. Plus, there are some other kind of cool things I got to do with her, like making her 5H, like, uh, ground bounce on air hit. Because the way it looks is like she's dragging them down and, like, you know what I mean? So it was like, I don't know. I was just kind of happy yeah, that I... I got to do more with her than I thought I'd be able to. 
Now, from when I played her, she's just a very complete character. Like, it seriously seems more like a official change to the yeah. character rather than a mod. Thank you. Uh, you know, I do. I like when I hear that because it means like uh, the work I've been doing really is paying off. You know, because I have been trying to make it feel like that. Like, I want people to feel like it's a Guilty Gear game and not just like someone having fun. Like, you know, too, going too far rather all the time. I think that's a kind of common. Uh, con Kai. <laughs> I mean, Kai is a little bit overtuned right now. I, I mean, I've been saying that like from. <laughs> yeah, just a little, just a tiny bit. Well, the thing is, is like this DP has been uh, the follow up has been in the game like this. It's just uh, no one's abused it like China until now, and so <laughs> you know what I mean. Everyone else is just like kind of like okay, like yo, no, you punished me, but like no, you, you fuck it, just do it. <laughs> like oh shit, I did not know. My bad. <laughs> now, do you know the actual frame data on the instant overhead uh, air uh, greed saver? It's around like fourteen to seventeen, I want to say right now with the jump i want to say really? it, so it's i want to say it's uh tk bad moon so i'm like, shocked that it's actually reactable because when i was playing it uh did not feel that way yeah it's uh the animation is so fast and he's so low to the ground it's definitely just uh difficult to deal with so i yeah, do plan on you're not used to seeing either i do plan on increasing the startup on it it's a bit uh faster than i wanted it to be that was just kind of an oversight on my part <clears throat> That's understandable, yeah. Uh, sometimes, yeah. like, when I'm doing an update or making a lot of changes, like, I just kind of overlook things, especially if it's kind of like a spur of the idea moment. Or spur yeah, of the no, moment I, idea. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I can fully understand how some of the ideas we have at, like, you know, 3 a.m. in the morning are probably... They sound great, and then we implement them, and it's just terrible. Oh, good burst bait. Uh, everyone, can you... Anyone in chat, can you tell me what the score is right now? I don't think I updated it correctly at all. I'm going to say it's... Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been distracting you from actually commentating. <laughs> Yo, that combo is sick. All right, we're in there. Never mind. We spent all that meter to get out, though. That's great. Ooh, good, good block. block. I want to say it's 1-0 right now. Get oh, that's new. Sheesh. Yeah, if you see her uh, on the ground, flash, jump. Jump FD, rather. Uh, don't worry, I can't react to that. Yeah. <laughs> You're like just hitting buttons anyway. Ooh, good counter hit. Oh, I play spot. Ram already mashing P way before they even start their combo. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh no, drops it, but still gets the combo on the ground. All right, backs off. Notices the IBs and wants none of that. Ooh, pushes himself into the corner. All right, no reward yeah, from no these counter up. hits for Milk, so Aether has a chance here. Bets it on the zombie, doesn't get punished. Blue fire Gekarin. A lot of meter to work with. Spends it on an overhead that gets blocked. Ooh, that's a good look for Aether Beat. PRC on the empty air. Much faster now. You know, uh, Aether, you should try uh, doing the fireball more. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now First. it's... Uh-oh. No, yo, Kikyo? Ooh. Or is that... I think that's Tsubaki. Wait, like... Blaz Blue Subaki? No, no, it's just the title of the name. Oh, okay, sheesh. Man, I don't know any move names, all right? Like, I'm terrible with them. Oh, wow. Good knockdown. Round throw. All right. Oh, a little bit too high to get the knockdown hit from the force break. That's nice to know. <laughs> oh, the force break would have both knocked down and given him a card. Yeah, I might have That's reduced. Really well, I might. I think I might have reduced the untech time on the force break. Ah, uh, okay. It, it might only be like thirty frames now. It was sixty before. 
But it was knocked down <laughs> before, so definitely really good. I did take the stance on a lot of moves to overtune them first, and then, you know what I mean? Like, after that, it's like, okay, that's too good, and then I tone it down. Like, I'm not afraid to, I'm not afraid to nerf shit. Even if people like it. <laughs> it's like, of course you're gonna like it. Aether takes that. Alright, I'm sorry, chat. Alright, who took that last game? Was it Aether? Okay, thank you. Good throw off that. Sheesh. Ooh, good frame trap. Gonna follow up with that combo. What's funny is, right, like, I don't think the dunk after is, like, optimal, I, but, like, oh, that's a fucking <laughs> chunk of damage. The tumble animation is hilarious for Jam. <laughs> good block. Ooh, not that one. Watcha! Good throw. Get guilty gear. Ooh, Mash and throw. First bait. Ooh, no. Drops the dust loop. Gets the grab. One more chance. Parry. Full blitz. Okay, you got metered blitz. Wrist it all. Yeah, that's why you don't want to charge if you only got the 25. Ooh, 2D catches the uh, command grab. Burst on deck. Aether's doing the biking classic. Aether Run takes... Tommy. It works. Game two. Or game three. I want to say. I do need to tell uh, Aether to try to use the cannon more because it's faster. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's probably a great change because cannon's pretty much worthless in normal rev. Yeah. I wanted moves to feel like good, but not overtuned, though, necessarily, unless they had a reason for being that, right? So. Yeah. Like, make the cannon faster, but not make it stupid. <laughs> Like, because it's Jeez, too slow to be good. Excellent IDs. Yeah, definitely, but... Aether gonna eat a lot of hits here. And takes the blue kick KD, so... Has to deal with Oki. Okay, base the throw, but no punish. However, Aether... Ooh, too far to convert? Okay, Kieran, and we're gonna take that round. Oh, wow. Yeah, Jam can delete you with meter. Some good old guilt here neutral. Yeah, uh, five with normals, full screen. Yep. I need to do that with 4P on Raven more. Holy shit, where'd your life bar go? This is the bike and classic, right? Bike and lucky that I increased her sun resistance to 55. Or her back to 55, rather. In a moment of spite, I did... I don't know about spite. I did decrease it to 50 for a little bit. <laughs> Listen, you know me. If I made this mod, uh, every single character would have just... Uh, Ram sign level nerfs. If you made this mod, you probably actually just delete Ram level. <laughs> You're like, oops, my character's gone. Ooh, try yeah, to go probably. for some fancy, but get some on the reset. So, gonna take it to 2 2, I think. Oh, no, oh, no, I guess that was 3 2. All right. Yeah, definitely lost a game there. No, 2-2? Two, two? Or is we're, he just still players? We can't count. Like, I mean, we've got a Raven player and a Ram player in commentary. I eat paste. I don't know what Raven <laughs> players do. I can't believe no, I had was, to ask this, too. Okay, I'm so that sorry. That was game five. <laughs> Delta got on the mic at one point. I lost a game, so. All right, now it's going to be uh, Milk and Sauzer to close it out. Reset the scoreboard here. Dude, those were some games. Those were definitely some ga damn games. Now, did you touch Slayer BDC at all? No. Sheesh, all right. Well, it's going to be a tool in this matchup. Yeah, I mean, parry also. You just saw right there. <laughs> yeah, parry dash cancel. I want to see how uh, Milk deals with 2H if uh, Sazer... Ooh, okay. Ooh, early bad burst. burst. Yeah. And that air dash cancel carries all the way to the corner. Yeah, and if he held down on uh, Footloose, actually, it would knock down. 
Really? Yeah. So I, I gave it an op like I didn't want to necessarily change it in case someone got mad. So I made it the normal version still be footloose so it can like reset you. But if you hold down, it'll actually like push him down and give a knockdown. Right. So there's just well, kind of I no reason to not go you. for it at the end of combos. Actually, Funny, we're punishing as uh, puff with uh, crosswise. That was insane. Yeah, definitely all these uh, back dash cancels. <laughs> just back dash. Ooh, the parry. My defensive options versus your defensive options. Yeah. And 2H doing, like, wonders for Salzor. Yeah. It's it's neutral for its, you know, Slayer right now. You, It's a real fucking tool. <laughs> oh, most certainly. I would almost uh, put it with on the, the, cheap shit, but the level like, nah, of, like, cheap shit. Raven 5H, except it fucking hits low and deals more damage. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. All right, what's the look? All right, blocks. Good shit. All right, back to neutral. Ooh, 2P to check the dash in. It gonna convert off the counter hit. Sauzer. Now, uh, I need to ask this question for Crocs. Yeah. Can you do air burst dead on time? No, I did try to look into how to make burst supers, but I haven't been able to figure it out yet. All right, gotcha. At least not correctly. <laughs> Making dead on time air okay. Because they're dead on time is already dead for super. Bam. 2H counter hit. Pops him up super high. <clears throat> Stanky leg up there. Alright, hits him with a Trying to punish is not going to get to punish that, uh, that card charge. Alright, tech buttons. Parry. Works Works out. Great parry. Hell yeah. Push them out of the corner, but you know, spend Woo! that 25 meter to get max charge region. They just Completely run up 6H. And now you're in the corner. There we go. Knockdown. Good IVs. Again, going for Max Charger Yeah, just one second. He seems to really kick. prefer that one. Yep. Because uh, it's he, uh... stuff like this, so you just uh, IED back, see they're in the air, go for Ryujin, and then if you have the 25 meter, you just get it back immediately. Oh, you bet. Ooh, you bet badly, too. Okay, never mind. We're placing all meters. the chips on deck. Oh. We're placing all the chips on deck. Nice. The milk taking round one. Two D. Up to OTG. Counter hit crosswise. Ooh, convert. Knock him down. Nope. Ooh, tries Back to go out for pressure, but okay. Gold burst. We're playing Rev Zero. How does he spend the meter? He keeps it. He, all he doesn't need it yet. He knows. There we go. Surprise me. I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen any uh, dash forward bites. Yeah, and it's pretty good now. Oh, no. Too far to convert. Definitely a weakness of that move. Yeah. Especially from Salazar, who kind of in Rev 2 likes to play Slayer like a grappler. Now, what, I just realized one thing he could have spent the bar on in pressure is a uh, force break pile bunker, which is safe. Mm. Hit him with the cheap shit. I always feel bad anytime I see a Slayer player do Force Break Pile Bunker and then they RC it. And I'm like, no, 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 you don't got to do that. <laughs> don't worry, I got you. <laughs> However, you are in the corner dealing with Jam right now and you did not block high. Is he dead? Oh, oh no. He's a combo. He very much could have been. Yeah, he is uh, now. The active frames on Kyrian knocking him out. Milk taking that second game. Well, you know, if they have a 100 meter, they can RC Force Break Pile Bunker and then just do it again. That would be the most Slayer thing they could possibly do. <laughs> RC. So, Force Break Pile Bunker, RC anyway, and then Force Break Pile Bunker. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That yeah, I, 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 risk. you're not wrong. Yeah. You're not wrong. <laughs> Your jab. They have the same color. A little bit darker yeah. on Slayer's part, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, the burst punish. Ooh, the 5 feet reset, too. Jab. He was ready for that one. Ooh, oh, that counter hit, but doesn't quite mash out fast enough. Yeah, that's not a trade you want to take as jam right now. Oh, and okay. Mash B. 
We know what this looks like. Out of the, out of the danger time countdown. Okay. A little bit scrambly, but that's how yeah, it be. There's one character who can. These are both characters that can mount a danger time comeback, but you don't see anything happen in danger time. I wonder if Jam can car a 5k or 6k because I made it in advance. Mm. Oh shit! Mm. Oh. He's up with the overhead. Nice, closes it out. Off the dash Fuck it, I'm turning the music up. I'm feeling it today, guys. Tries to back that, uh, the dandy stuff out, but JH is gonna catch it. Nice wake up throw. Trade's kind of working out for uh, Milk's favor, evening up the light totals. Oh shit, the, the parry on the falling JD. Counter hit, yep. Ooh, he had carded uh, oh, Gekki, so he's gonna get a fat combo. I'm not able to close it out, but it doesn't matter when you get reset like that. Alright. Ooh, another counter hit that has to burst, does not want to die. Woo! We got kicks for days here. You got force breaks, I got force breaks. You all get force breaks. Becky makes it safe and he's gonna get the punish. We are answering back and forth in this game. Three. These two players just slugging it out. I, I mean, love this it. This is what we expect from Slayer versus Jam. Yeah, this is what this is what the crowd wants. This is what we came here to see. I mean, you've got Ape versus Monkey. Yeah. And which one's which? We don't know. <laughs> Nobody knows. It's like they got two cards, and it's like they're just trading back and forth. Like I got the Ape card, you got the Monkey, and then they <laughs> they're like, no, it's case your turn. Now they're playing rock, paper, scissors, but they keep throwing rock, but they just keep insisting that uh, their rock is bigger. Yeah, it's like, what if rock always won? <laughs> right there. Yep. Nice jab. Trying to reset with uh, right. Mappa. And with the meter on... Ooh, bets it oh, all wow. on Ryujin. Yeah, that dandy gonna go right under it. Okay, the rare wire C in Rev Zero. You'd think you wouldn't hear that, right? <laughs> XR wire C isn't used that much? I don't know. Sounds yeah. taking game three. Now, the most apt analogy I can think of, and this is simply because I come from a, uh, let's call it a rural area to be nice, <laughs> is a demolition derby. It's a demolition derby. Nice. That's what I'm watching right now. Yeah. Those are fun to watch, at least. <laughs> we're crashing. Like the we're, we have cars, crash. and they're padded, and we're crashing into each other. I'm sorry, padded? You know, yeah, sort of. You got function. metal. You got a seat. Maybe a seat belt, right? Maybe. You're wearing, you're wearing some. You're wearing some football helmets. Okay, oh, get some the reset character. Here. What's funny is it's off the OTG, so I can never tell if it's like, did he mean for it or was it a drop? Like, did it matter? <laughs> Because if you get the OTG into the cross-up from the tech, that's kind of dirty. Yeah, that is pretty dirty. Nice anti-air jab. You think your jab is good, Slayer? Mine is just as good. All right, has to spend a stinky leg out. Okay, blocks. We need her to work with. It nice checks with the far carry. slash. Oh, was that 5k? Okay. Yeah, so it's 5k and the uh, heavy slash. Gotcha. You know, 5k being stupid yeah. Oh, round start round parry. Round start parry. Listen, round start Mappa. Sounds are hungry for blood. He right. smells it. You don't want to give milk more. You don't want to milk. You don't want to give milk this game. No. You, you, uh, you really don't want to let milk really get going with these card charges. No, definitely. Like one card on deck is enough. Yeah. Preferably you want zero. All right, yeah, no, because like, if they have one card, they, they'll turn that one card into another card because they'll just spend it in neutral. All right. Now, so Zer's got to play real safe right here or take the risk and win. All right, yeah. Makes him spend the bar. Throw. Runs forward. One guess. Yo, I don't... Black AP. So it's like dash forward. YRC. He was in the air. <laughs> yeah. And so Zer on uh, set point, match point. Tournament point, whatever. Nice pass on the 2K. He's gonna count with the late frames on that 6K. 
Ooh, nice frame trap, but unable to convert, Molly. Yep. 5k, he's got the knockdown. It's good for checking. So is that 2D. Especially with Slayer, who has a lot of movement that can be susceptible to lows. Yep. Ooh, already get that knockdown. Of life already gone. Yo, and that conversion. All right. All right, Ryujin's so out. 75 meter about. Spends it on wire C Ooh. and just gets pile bunkered, but luckily gets out of the corner. All right, a little bit of scramble situation, and Milk, unfortunately, throws himself back into the corner. He gets tucked out. All right, Bates Locked. the reversal. Bates the gold burst. Going to have to navigate this Got river carefully. Out. Oh, no. Six bets it all dust. on dust, and he has the gold burst still, and it comes out. He's got it. Oh, we ape it, and we, are, and we, we are in going there. Game five. game five, hell fucking yeah! I think we call this last game Hellfire. Let's do it. If I know one thing about Slayer, and I really Wait, don't know that, that much, wasn't it, right? Uh, that was that was not it yet. No, that's not it yet. Yeah. Yeah, it's 2 2. Anyway, if I know one thing about Slayer, it's simply that currently uh, he's thinking too much. Like, I'm seeing brain activity right now. <laughs> he needs to go dumb, all right? Every single time I've lost a Slayer, it is, bracket, it's not because of intelligence. It's not because of, you know, truly utilizing Slayer's abilities the best he can. <laughs> it's because they just turn off their brains. I mean, that's, did that's the first. That's the Dots. secret to high level play. It's like, you know, you've seen the, the meme that's not a meme, right? Where it's like, beginners don't think. Intermediate players think too much. Pros stop thinking <laughs> again. <laughs> they've right. learned to the, just the turn it off. The bell curve, it's I'm just pushing buttons uh, in the mid part of the uh, mid part of the bell curve. It, it's like, I'm focusing on my setups. You know, I got my frame tight, frame traps, the unseeable mix. Top level players, I'm just pushing buttons. Now, shockingly, uh, there's actually a lot of truth to that. Uh, when your brain actually has to consciously think and process decision making, it's yeah. much, much slower and much more inefficient. Once things become instant habits, uh, like the reaction times and thought processes become basically instant, more or less. Yeah. Yeah, no, it just, you let instinct take over, and instinct is a powerful, powerful tool. Yeah, Milk only has five wins, so that means he would need one more to close it out. I'm pretty surprised if he just went and got water. Yeah. Well, I did ping him. Uh, whatever, I'm going to take a bite of my burger then. Now, are you a heathen who doesn't put ketchup on their burger? I hate ketchup. Damn. <laughs> so that's a yes. Uh, he's not wrong. Ketchup's pretty disgusting. Oh. You know what I really Jeez. hate? I'm sorry. You know what I really hate is when they mess up my order. And they put the ketchup on the burger, right? And I gotta wipe it off, but it doesn't come off. There's always ketchup left. <laughs> no matter how much you dab it with the paper well, towel. <laughs> truly it soaks into the bun. Truly wax. And it gets on the bun. Was I ordered from like I ordered from DoorDash and I, I ordered Wendy's. And I don't know how this happened. But I ordered I ordered a I ordered a sandwich, I ordered a hamburger. And what arrived was just two patties. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's amazing. Like, how? I don't know. I looked over the order. I'm like, I I ordered what I normally order, which is just a regular hamburger. I didn't best specify anything. So why did they just give me two patties? The suspense is killing me. <laughs> Milk, come back. <laughs> Yeah, the only time I ever had an order messed up badly was when, so, my brother, a friend of his, was a uh, Lithuanian basketball player. Uh, he went to his high school, because his high school is like a magnet school for international basketball players. I know, it's kind of crazy. Anyway, 
uh, we went to McDonald's one time and he said that he could eat 20 hamburgers, right? So I bought him 20 hamburgers. <laughs> well, at the end, they were just kind of throwing stuff into the bag because I don't think they had that many. It was like two o'clock in the morning, right? Yeah, yeah they didn't they have had, that many yet. Yeah, they didn't. So they're just kind of throwing stuff into the bag. So we ended up like with like 10, 15 hamburgers, like chicken sandwiches. I think there was an egg McMuffin in there somewhere. God damn. Uh, but no, uh, he was a liar. He could only eat like 12. <laughs> oh, only 12. Mm. Okay. Only, yeah, only 12. He should have inflated. Like he should have just said 12, which is still a large enough number to be like, I don't believe you. <laughs> no, man, if he, if he told me he could eat 10, I'd have been like, yeah, probably. <laughs> Oh, now, no, did you guys no. happen to watch? Did you guys happen to watch the? Uh, I would call it the greatest display of American talent uh, that happens every Fourth of July. I did not watch anything on the Fourth of July. Uh, so you did not miss, or you missed the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Championship. Yeah, yeah. I've heard of this. It is the most American sporting event in existence. It is like ten people sitting down and eating as many hot dogs as they can physically stuff into their bodies within 10 minutes. Would you Damn. guys like to guess the winner who did set a world record uh, this year? Uh, How many he ate? 150. I wish, man. I wish they could break the 100 uh, barrier. Okay. 75. You are around the money. He ate 75 hot dogs and buns in 10 minutes. Wow. Damn, what do I win, Bob? I think he won actually like 10 plus grand. It was, it was actually a decent amount of money. Mm. Milk has disappeared. Where, where'd he go? You think we wouldn't be able to lose people in an online tournament? How do he? He's still here though. <laughs> where'd he go? Like He's probably AFK. Yeah. But like the, the, the thing is like in a major is like, oh, Okay, oh, the, your reward, Souser, is you have to fight Delta for the last match. <laughs> in like five frames or whatever. Might be six or seven. Whatever. Oh, wait, oh, oh that, there he's we back. see he's movement. Back. <laughs> we got movement. All right. Milk, Come one on. more game. One more. All right. <laughs> We're in there. We're in there. Uh, yo, how do we lose people in an online tournament? Like, you hear about majors. He, he just definitely like, just you, thought you he lose. won and walked off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you, you take your eyes off of the player for like two seconds, they're gone. It's like, how the hell does this happen? You'd think there wouldn't be a problem, be seeing how everyone's in their own home. Hit. All right, All right. Take, Spends you it. know, and who knows? Maybe this is like that Sonic Fox versus Goichi moment where like Goichi just got so thrown off by getting side swapped right now. <laughs> yeah. So, yo, yo, can we get the TOs? Like, I'll, I'll swap sides. Yeah, I don't like this side. <laughs> Was that at the uh, Twin Galaxies event? No, that no, was that at was Evo. Evo 2018, first oh, year. Oh, yeah, yeah, now I remember. Uh, it was actually the same year the Twin Galaxies event happened. Uh, those matches were fixed, by the way. Really? Yeah. The uh, Twin Galaxy ones? Yeah. Gotcha. Like, 100%. Yeah, Ooh, was actually, gonna was kill? Like Twin Galaxies did. Definitely gonna kill. All yeah. right. Uh, he he was some pre-Evo thing. Uh, All right. This could be a set point here for Milk. Although, not if you hit that J H counter hit like that. Ooh, 6P. 6P. Ooh, Tex out. Not enough time. All right, yeah, base out the DP, basically. Noontide oh. Eclipse. Uh-oh, that's a big chunk of damage. All right, blocks the reset. Okay, good trade for Souser. Yeah, I think we take those trades. The Lecto is slightly in Salazar's favor. He's got to get the hit. Ooh, and built up some risks, too. And not a lot of bite attempts. All right, back dash wire scene. Yeah. Slayer time. Gold burst That's does gold not burst. pound out. And 50 meter on deck for Salazar. He's dead. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, just I, did, I didn't want to say it until it happened. Oh, there we go. Come on. Oh, we yeah, got, yeah, all right, try two. Number try. All right. All right, we have the last game of this small round robin. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. This blue on blue violence. I like the vampire. Like this is a very vampire color for Slayer. Yeah. Ooh, EC overhead, but no follow up, and just neutral jumping out. Okay, gonna hold this knockdown. 
Yep. Doesn't we'll convert all the way, the so no good Oki. Okay. But the 6P is just trying to check him and keep him in the corner. All right, a lot of meter. Spends the PRC to keep it safe. P. It's got a burst. And got a chance. Oh, no. Can't. Oh, gets the 5P oh, anti here. Stay alive. Dead live. Old burst blocks it. Got a. Oh. Got a you cannot let this character live. Oh my god, no! Milk! No! Let's oh no, and he fucking no, steals please. it! Oh, oh. You cannot let this character live! That was excellent. Oh shit, Good work. and Milk just taking that football from fucking all the way across the field. He put out his hand and he shoved everyone aside the whole way across. <laughs> A GG, shake my hand. <laughs> good games, good games. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. All right, thank you both, uh, Red Delta and Aether Beat, for helping me on commentary, definitely. Especially after the first tournament and the second one. Uh, shout out to the money oh. who did actually reply a little bit too late, got caught up grocery shopping, and was unable to make it. But... Souser, Milk... Ether, thank you all for playing. That was a sick uh, round robin. Yeah, Rev Zero never disappoints. And uh, if you guys want to keep playing or whatever, you go ahead. I'll keep streaming. I'm actually going to probably take this yeah. opportunity to go out for a walk. Yeah, take it easy. You've been here for a minute. Thank you so much. I know yeah. I hit you up at the last second. So. <laughs> and it's always it's always a pleasure, man. Uh, see you all around. See ya. You already know what's coming. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end and restart this.